Hi. Hi everybody. Welcome to the live of Dreamland Publications. I welcome you all to this uh, read snack and read time storytelling sessions powered by dreamland publications with the collaboration with arya inspires and this being the 11th episode of the series i welcome you all so good to see you all here and you know what today we are celebrating the world storytelling day you know something what are we going to do today we are going to of course listen to a story but uh, before that why don't uh, we just know a bit about myself okay so i am uh, swecha prashad and i'm a writer i'm a storyteller and i am also a life coach for kids and you know what I am also a very emotional person. Yes, emotions, feelings. Do you know what 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 do we do about the feelings, the emotions? Well, are you aware that we experience more than 30,000 feelings? Can you name a few for me right here? Some of the feelings that you can think of? Okay for those of you who have just joined we are celebrating the world storytelling day and this is the 11th episode of Dreamland Publications uh, snack and read time storytelling sessions in collaboration with Ara Inspires and so good to see you all here and why don't you all quickly tell me what emotion okay somebody says happiness come on more answers please scared yes of course what about okay So I have got a little game for all of you. Are you ready to play that game with me? It's a very easy one, okay? What you got to do is I am going to say a few prompts, give you a few prompts, and you just need to tell me what emotion, what feeling goes with it. Okay, we've got we've got getting the answers pouring in jubilee and happy, scared, shocked, angry, all right? So, perplexed, okay? That's interesting. I'm glad to have such an amazing audience joining us today. Okay, so the first prompt. How do you feel when you wake up in the morning and there is a little gift lying next to you on the bed? A gift for you. The first thing that you see in the morning is a surprise gift lying next to you. Tell me how would you feel about that? Well, I would be extremely surprised, excited and happy to receive a gift right in the morning. Okay? Then we have maybe when uh, you are being forced to eat a bitter gourd. The humble karela. How do you feel when you're forced to eat Okay, how do you feel when you're forced to eat a karela? How does that feeling give? Mhm. Mm okay. Then what happens? How do you feel when you maybe smell a flower or the feeling when you see a cute little puppy? Oops. It isn't a puppy. It's a it's a grumpy frog. But a cute pan I guess. Okay how do you feel when your best friend ignores you but tries to be friendly with others what is that feeling huh jealous that's all right okay tell me another one this one specially for those with kids or in fact if kids have also joined how do you feel when your sibling breaks your favorite toy what is that feeling or what is that feeling when your dadi or your nani gives you a surprise visit what is that feeling okay i'm glad to see the answers someone says with all you know we cry yes when when our friend when our uh, friends you know kind of don't 
be with us for a long time and go out and we do feel jealous when our uh, cry when our toys are broken we often cry also so yes so many feelings we have already you know heard with we i'm i'm seeing the answers are pouring in that's so nice okay so how about story now are we all ready to listen to the story because like i said we are celebrating the world storytelling day and of course i'm here to tell a story which is of course a part of uh, a beautiful book uh, by the dreamland publications the kids uh, books that they have been uh, getting so now let's start with the story so my dear friends today i'm going to tell you a story of mac and david mac and david are two brothers brothers who lived with their parents they were lovely children they were responsible they obeyed to their parents they finished their course what happened with them one day was one fine morning as david and mac uh, had just woken up from their sleep their parents called them from into the veranda and the boys oh my god the boys were surprised because there were two brand new bicycles for them they were super super excited to see the bikes they immediately went hugged their parents thanked them and came back to the bikes in fact the bikes were also labeled one of them said for david and the other one for mac well when mac and david went to their bikes and david david was david was so happy to see he was so joyful to see that bright gleaming shiny red bike of his and he was just rubbing his hands over its smooth surface checking out the 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 brakes and and the bell and the, it had a little light also at the back and he was thrilled to have that bike just then he noticed max bike it was violet and white in color and it even had a name the name was thunderbolt ah oh. david had liked his bike but but he kind of fell in love with max he thought to himself how i wish how i wish i could have I could have Max bike. He even went up to Mac and asked him, "Hey Mac, uh, would you would you like to exchange the bikes?" Mac said, "Definitely not." Well, David sulked. He didn't say much. He didn't show his feeling or he didn't express anything. He just covered his bike in that cover and you know came back to his room. the day progressed he kept doing his work finished his assignments played with his toys and in the evening when mac called out to him that david let's go for a bike ride he refused you know he just said i have some course to finish i have some work to do he didn't go out well the day ended then at night time when the kids were supposed to be in their bedroom David went out to the shed quietly his mom followed him while David went up to Max bike and he was still admiring the thunderbolt and you know the features of that bike and the color of the bike he was telling himself oh this one such a beautiful bike how i wish i had this for myself his mom called out his name hey david uh, 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 mom hey what are you doing here uh nothing much mom i was just just checking out david isn't it that you like max bike more yes mom hey kid that's absolutely okay if you're feeling jealous of max pike 
that's fine you know as adults we also feel like that it's okay to feel that way sometimes but hey my child it's important to be content with what you have well david still was a little upset he did understand what mom had said and just then mom said hey i don't know why but i like your thunderbird so much what thunderbird what a lovely name mom my my bike's name my bike has a name that's thunderbird that's amazing he was so happy he was ecstatic he was full of glee he went and hugged his mom and you know what he said he told his mom mom this this piece of advice that he just gave me is the best gift ever i've ever got i promise that i am going to take my thunderbird along with max thunderbolt on a wonderful ride tomorrow morning Well, as he said, the next day, both the boys woke up. Thunderbird, Thunderbolt, David, and Mac went out on a bike ride, and they had a great time together there on. My dear friends, this was the little story for the day, and what I gather from the story is, it's okay to have such feelings. jealousy too is a natural feeling and it is absolutely fine to feel that way but one needs to act not react and also we must have someone to share our feelings somebody whom we trust by just like david who lost jealousy and found joy <laughs> So this was a little story for today's session and I hope you all enjoyed listening to it as much as I enjoyed narrating it to you. And now let's have uh, Shivani Kanodia the uh, founder of Arya Inspires and let's invite things that she has to tell us. Shivani hey Shivani are you here? Hi, Shivani. Thank you. What a lovely, lovely story, and what an apt one for today. Today, as she told you, is World Storytelling Day, and the theme for today is lost and found. And as soon as you lose those feelings, those feelings that disturb you, the negative feelings, that is when you find happiness. Right. Thank you, Swetch. And it was so beautifully narrated. I completely enjoyed it. And we are having all those likes and loves and comments in the chat box, which tells that everybody listening to us also enjoyed it. Now, let me tell you where are these books? Uh, this where was the story from? The story is part of this book, which is one book in the series of character building stories for children by Dreamlands, and it has so many other titles, uh, which deals with many other. Uh, feelings in children and these books can be found on first cry amazon flipkart and you can also connect with dreamlands on their instagram and uh, facebook pages and place your order and i have another book in my hand happy and you know apart from being world storytelling day swetcha it's also international day of happiness so wow. i think there couldn't be a better fit for today how to find happiness and there are different stories in this book out of which one story is about a little girl who is bored at home like all of us are usually right because in today's technical digital age we want to be doing something all the time but this little girl was bored and mom was busy in her work and she said i really don't have time just you know sit and do whatever you want to she wanted to go to her place a friend's place but she couldn't and then she finally decided all right we went on a vacation recently and i collected so many photographs so she said uh, what should i do let me put them all in a scrapbook and that's what this girl does and she starts to enjoy the process and when mama comes back and says okay i'm free now i can drop you to your friend's home she says that's okay 
I can meet my friend tomorrow. But this is what I'm doing now. So happiness, although is with everyone around us, major part of it is within us. Absolutely, absolutely. Very and such these a... books are filled with many such stories. And there's not, there are other sets of books from Dreamlands, like Punch Tantra Tales, etc., which are again a very good addition to children's library. So yeah, this is where these books are from, and I'm so glad that we were able to bring these stories today to uh, everybody. And Arya inspires, and all the tellers are really, really enjoying uh, bringing stories to you. We've been getting a very, very warm response. So thank you for listening. And anything else that you want to add, Swetcha? Ah. Uh... Then you say that you know we are celebrating the happiness day as well. I mean, I am. I also have to say that narrating the story made me. You know, I was filled with so much happiness with all the love getting, and I have to thank Shivani, Ara Inspires, and of course Dreamland Publication for giving me this opportunity to be on this platform and share this wonderful, wonderful story on to uh, on this day of World Storytelling Day. And thank you so much for having me here. Grateful, humble, delighted to be a part of it. It was our pleasure, and it is our pleasure to bring stories every week, week after week, for everybody who follows us on Dreamlands Publications and are listening to our stories. Thank you so much, everybody. Until next week, we'll be back on twenty sixth of March with another story. So stay tuned, and I'll take your leave for now. Bye. Well. that will be all from our side as well thank you so much for listening and like shivan just said there will be stories every week happening so don't forget to tune in at the dreamland page every week listening to lovely stories i'll take your leave i'm swetcha prashad and keep enjoying keep reading stories sharing with them thank you so much for your time that will be a all 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 i have to say today thank you bye everybody bye